Right, hey guys, it, let's just get past that thing. Ultimate 6 and 4, and today we are going to be, well, starting the let's play on, once it loads, once it loads, uh, well you probably saw it, Resident Evil Remake slash Remaster on the PS4, whatever you want to call it, and now it's transferring data to Resident Evil.net. And I'm just checking the stream and everything, just to make sure everything's running fine. As it's loading. And they're playing Bloodborne adverts. Right, so, just hit the mic levels. Yeah. He's got, has got my audio. Right, yeah, my audio is coming through. I'm just, just checking, so. Let's go to options. Go to audio. I'm going to turn everything down to 50. Um, or just above 50, just because. Um, you know, I want my commentary to come through, so. Alright. Now I can mute my stream. Refresh and get on with this. So, uh, let's check the display. Okay, we can do this when we start the game. Right, so start a new game. I don't know, shall I start a new game or shall I start on. Uh, uh, I've already started, right, so go for widescreen or the original, I like to go widescreen, I go for original controls and I'll turn subtitles on. Uh, so we've got mountain climbing, uh, hiking and walking. Now walking is very easy, hiking is easy and cli mountain climbing is normal, so I'm going to click mountain climbing. And I've never actually played all the way through on mountain climbing before, so let's... Go hello first stream joiner and people watching on YouTube once this gets uploaded. So we're gonna be playing as Jill um, in her normal remake costume. So that's the side and I'll shut up while you watch the cutscene. Alpha team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare.
this way. Alright, so that's the first cutscene. Enter the survival horror. Oh, and I better shut up again because there's another cutscene. There are only three STARS members left now Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house. That's for sure. Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> A dining room. So, um, this is Resident Evil. HC Remaster or Resident Evil Remake um, as it is on the GameCube and I still call it Resident Evil Remake. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Sorry if I sort of start going and then realise there's a cutscene. The beginning of the game is quite cutscene heavy. So uh, yeah, I've been wanting to do remake for a while now. Um, and I thought I might as well do it this afternoon because I was like, I oh, know, I'll just start it, see how it does on YouTube and on the stream. And then if people like it, I'll continue it. If not, oh well, I'll still probably play it. Oh no, it's the first zombie. I remember when I first saw this on the GameCube, this sort of really got, freaked me out. I was just like, oh my god, it's a friggin' zombie. <laughs> oh, someone had a nice meal. And now we run. Run, Jill, run. <laughs> Look out, it's a monster. <laughs> Barry! What is it? Look out, it's a monster! Let me take care of it! What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. Alright. Yeah, so, um, nice thing with Revelations 2, they did actually add, like, a lot of references to this. Don't worry, I won't spoil Revelations 2 in this stream or anything, so you don't have to worry about that. I'll just mainly talk about this game if I can. But I, I, I'll try not to mention much about Revelations 2. Wesker! Jill, help me look for him. Let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Okay, so best thing to do, even though you should really just look around if you play it the first time. I've played this many times, so I know that if you sort of go up here a bit and then you come back down, it should trigger the cutscene. Yep. Barry. Any luck, Jill? No. Nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. 
Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Okay, so we finally have the lockpick because Jill is the master of unlocking. Thanks. I may need it. Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. It's the first things first, even though I do know the mansion pretty well, I'm just going to go get the map for sort of game sakes, just in case I do get lost, because I don't know whether on the stream I might just blank and my mind, I might just randomly blank and my mind will just go completely, well, blank, and I don't want to forget everything, so if I get the map, then I should remember where most things are, and if I forget something, then I can kind of narrow down which room it might be in, so... I love the uh, 16 by 9 that they put on this where it like um, draws down the camera. I think it really gives the game this flow um, on the PS4. When I first saw it, I was like, oh no, I'm going to play on 4x3 because that's how it was, but I prefer playing it at 16 by 9 because actually I really like the sort of pan shots. It feels a lot with a lot more dynamic camera like some of the older Resi games had, like um, Code Veronica had a very dynamic camera. For the fixed out camera angle ones, that is. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. The two girls did the screen. Or watching on YouTube. Okay. Yeah, you may notice I do very irregular streams. It's because I sort of start up a let's play, see how it does. Doesn't normally do that well, but um, I sort of started the order and then needed to clear some space on my PS4, so I sort of deleted the data. I haven't deleted my game save, so I can still go back to it whenever I want, but I kind of need to clear a bit of space on the PS4. Because this thing only has a 500 gig hard drive, and that is way not enough for the games that are coming out and stuff. Right, so let's go this way. Now, first things first, because I want to do this later, you know, check Kenneth, looks like he's holding something, um, and you get a videotape. Because, of course, this was set in 1998, so, videotape. Good. Alright, so as I said, I haven't played this on mountain climbing before, um, so I don't know where all the ammo placement would be, because um, sometimes I know they move a lot of stuff. And if I handle a situation a little bit off to how other people play it or how you play it, please don't moan that I, you know, wasted ammo on something because I'm just trying to play this the way that I play it. And yeah, so just sort of enjoy. And I hope you guys in the stream are all enjoying this. Um, I can street see the stream chat um, from my uh, computer. So if anybody has anything, I'll peak there of it, um, occasionally but not always so that guy's gonna be a crimson head pretty soon so yeah but right, and here's our first zombies um, that we actually get to like dodge so here we go and I know there's one up past this mirror because I remember I read the strategy guide when I was a kid so um, right examine an item from the set screen select an item and then ex and then the examine command the details of the item will be displayed. So yeah, I should, I'd probably try and read all the files that I find. Right, here we go. Just to shoot him, just to get him down, and then, yeah, like that. And then I'll pick up the clip, and then I'll walk away, because I sort of just need to get him down, make sure that I don't waste any ammo. And this guy's coming up right behind me. Let's just get through the door. Yeah, I, I was, oh, by the looks, one, but wrong button. Is it circle? Yeah, it's circle. Okay, I haven't played this in, like, too much since it came out, so. Uh, the arrowhead looks like it can be removed. Arrowhead, so this is the arrowhead, which I think is made out of, what, fool's diamond or something? Poor man's emerald, that's it. Made of peridot. So that's, uh, yeah, that's it, five bullets, so. Remember, older Resi games, got to conserve your ammo, um, I uh, better check that I have the defense item equipped on the uh, um, manual mode. Right, so, using defense items such as daggers will allow you to escape momentarily when grabbed by an enemy. However, you will not be able to escape when the enemy, an enemy, enemy grabs you from behind. 
to equip a defense item, go to the status screen, then uh, the vend, and select an item from the defensive item menu, then select equip the equip command. If the defense item mode is set to manual on the controller settings, you must press L2 to use the defensive item. So I just want to check that I've done that, so otherwise, I'm, yeah, I have, right, so I don't want to waste any um, defensive items. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Right, so let's go. And I uh, did unmute my mic, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, just checking because sometimes I don't and I just completely forget. Right, so do 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 do. Where are we going? Um, down here. See, told you I'd go blank at some point. I sort of just went, oh god, where are we going? And they went, oh yeah, right, uh, key. <laughs> we need the key, so the key is back here. And I know there's another zombie down here. I know quite a bit about mountain climb, but I, I've never actually completed it, and I need to because I want to get those uh, trophies for like normal on hard and stuff on remake, so. Yeah, so if I'm a little bit wobbly, it's just that I haven't played a Resi game with tank controls in about two months. So if I go a bit wobbly sometimes like that, but it's just because I've been playing a lot of Revelations 2. And that are strafing, and I didn't set that back to RE4 controls. Which I would I was gonna do, but then they sort of switched around a few buttons, so I didn't really like it. So down here, you'll find the Book of the Dead, I think it's called, or whatever. The book is fitted perfectly in the indentation. The Book of Curses, that's it. Book of the Dead's evil dead, isn't it? Right, it's probably going to be a zombie up here. There's a zombie. Yeah, there is. Oh shit. Right, I'll turn around now. Because you can't go into this area by the looks of things. Right, so uh, while we're here, let's just examine the Book of Curses. It's, a title, it's titled Book of Curses, so we go around the back and we select that. The key is embedded on the back cover. Will you remove it? Yes. You got the mansion key. You also got the book of curses. Uh, book of curses. The four masks. A mask that speaks no evil. A mask that smells no evil. A mask that sees no evil. A mark that um, a, a mark. A mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. Which is similar to later on in the game. It's basically a puzzle hint, but. Yeah, and then you have a few gun in this, which I don't really need to do, but I like to do it anyway. It's the sword key, um, which Jill didn't have to use in the first game originally. Alright, we dodged him, and he the fact I still stand in there like, eh, do it, what the hell's going on? Oh dear, right, that was a good dodge. I'd, I'd never been able to dodge that zombie before on test runs, but I've never actually finished this mode. I need to, though, because I want to try and get the platinum on this at some point. <coughs> Right, so now we have the sword key, we can go down here. Do, 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 do. <sighs> and here we go. Right, so let's go to this door, use the sword key. Now, um, unlike the original, use, those of you who have played Remake will know this, but unlike in the original, when you go through this corridor, once you do not um, alert the dogs, you have to go through it a second time backwards, um, but you have to go through the door, otherwise they won't trigger. So let's check under here, we've got dagger. Oh, there you go, little jump scare to make you think that it's going to happen, but it doesn't, which is probably used to uh, fake out the people who played the original. And under here should be, here we go, a handgun clip. Got some more people in the stream chat, um, or the stream at least. Welcome. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying it so far. Or from what you're saying. Right, so um, we won't go in the bathroom just yet, or be honest, maybe not at all, because there's only really, I think, a defence item in there. So I don't really see the point, but we will go now and do the dual sandwich thing, which I completely forgot to do the first time I played 
this on PS4 because I completely forgot to do it for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, it's yeah. I, I love the art design of this game as well. Like you can see that the umbrella symbol is sort of on the floor there and stuff. It's this. I love the this game completely. It's excellent. And if you guys don't own it on like PS4 or PS3 or if you have like even Xbox and PC, you can get this now. And I really do recommend that you buy this. It's well worth like the fifteen pounds. I think it's like twenty dollars in America. So let's grab the shotgun. Those hooks will go up. Nothing else in this room, for what I to think. So we go up here. Oh no, the ceiling's coming down. Actually, it moves rather fast in this version, doesn't it? Uh, okay, so best thing to do is just check the doors just in case. Um, because. Yeah, right, Barry's gonna come oh next to us. What did I do now? Wesker! Hey, one minute, Barry! wasn't it lower beforehand? Help! Jill! You in there? Barry? Get me out of here! The door's jammed! Stand back! <clears throat> Grab my hand! <clears throat> uh, to Mansell. 22233. Two, two, three. Um, no, this isn't my first playthrough. This is probably my uh, third or fourth playthrough of this game, but it's my second on PS4. It's my first sort of let's play. Barry! That was a close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. <laughs> really? Still not as good as the original Thanks. line, but it's still great. But, Barry, didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to find other clues? I'm glad and all, but why are you here? I just had something I wanted to check. Anyway, we should get back to searching for Wesker and Chris. Thanks, Barry. I owe you one. Don't mention it. <laughs> okay, so now I have the shotgun cargo back in there, so let's continue. Oh, that's really good time. That's really good time. Bet you made it high on the leaderboards. All right, so now we want to go in here first because I want to drop some stuff off in the item box because we're not going to need the shotgun right now. Oh, no. Zombie. Dodge. Oh, dear. Um, I am so going to get screwed into a corner. Uh, this is where I always end up messing up on mountain climbing. Uh, oh, no. That's three, isn't there? Oh shit. <laughs> um, okay, just to make sure I get out of this one, I know I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to use the shotgun just to get out of this pickle. Run, 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 deal. Nah. Run, 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 run. <laughs> oh shit. Right. Okay. Oh, excellent. Platinum trophy. I'm, not, I'm trying to head for that at some point, but i going to do it pretty slowly because this game isn't exactly the one that I'm the best at, so ink ribbons, uh, put that there, up there. I'm not going to need the knife because I never use the knife, um, right, so, oh crap, I keep pressing the wrong button, uh, there we go, so let's pick up the fuel canteen, yep, and uh, we won't save just yet, just got to hope I don't die. Actually, wait, there's a file along here. Which I should probably read out. Uh, there's a lantern on top of supplies. The uh, warm light makes you relax. So let's pick up the... Um, special instructions for the disposal of dead bodies. We have no information regarding those beings that may appear to be dead, but in fact, they are able to come back to life. However, there are ways to prevent them from becoming active again. Currently there are two known methods to cease the resurrection, incineration and the destruction of the head. If further methods are discovered, you will be notified immediately. Meanwhile, to those of you who still have the will to live, oil has been placed on the first floor of the mansion. Take as much as you need. You'll need something to light it with, which you'll find, need to find by yourself. Oh, excellent. Knife only invisible hard. My God. That must have taken a lot of time and uh, well probably not a lot of time if you know where all the enemies are but a lot of memorization of the game 
right, so there's not an urban at corner. Um, up the stairs, right, so there's a zombie there, there's also a zombie around here. So, and get past them, right, because we can't exactly burn them until we get the lighter, which is in the next room. So, do, 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 do. right, oh, damn, there's one right there. Um, reload. I have a bit OCD about reloading. Oh, that was a close one. Right, let's go in here. I think I might come out this door as well, because otherwise cause I'm, I'm going to come out right next to that other zombie. Right, so, oh, Glowy, that is the dog whistle. No, don't look at the chessboard, Jill. Don't look at the chessboard, Jill. Right, dog whistle. Crumpled memo. Uh, today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it. Well, I had this idea. I figured if I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal like the vicious canine that lives here, no one would be able to get near it. As far as I can tell, the mutter... The... Bleh, the mutter's always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace, and he ought to come running at the sound of the dog whistle. This is where you come in. The thing is, I reckon you're the only person that can get near that damn dog without risking a serious mauling. Which means only you can put this collar on him. The object that Sir Spencer wants hidden is concealed inside. You're the only person I can trust with this. Of course, you'll get something out of it as well. Remember that certain item you've always wanted to get hold of? Well, in exchange for your services, I just might be able to get it for you. This could work out well for the both of us, John told me. Guessing that's probably John as in Ada's boyfriend. I, I think that, that would indicate that, I guess. Right, so, um, the page is a blank. Oh, botany. Oh, the botany book is still in this room. I couldn't find it on my first playthrough. I didn't realise it was still in here. Okay, uses of medicinal herbs. Um, it is a well-known fact that there are, exists many plants that are credited with medical, medi medical, medicinal healing powers. Since ancient times, mankind has been healing wounds and diseases using various plants. In this book, we will sample three herbs that are native of the Arclay Mountains and briefly outline each one of their medicinal qualities. Each herb has a distinct colour and distinct medicinal quality. The green herb recovers physical strength. The blue herb neutralises tox natural toxins. However, the red herb has no real effect by itself. We have found that mixing green and red herbs uh, results in mag a magnified effect. We will outline the effects of the red herbs and mi when mixed with others herbs um, when we have more data. Meanwhile, feel free to experiment on your own, for true knowledge is only acquired through experience. Which is kind of, I guess you could say that's kind of a, a bit of a thing for the game, is that um, if you experience it, then you'll probably get more out of it. Uh, so let's continue this way, because I don't want to bump into those other two zombies. Okay, welcome to um, anyone else who just joined the stream chat, and I think he just went that way, which is bad. Uh, dodge him. Yeah. Right, so that's for that map, which I'll probably come back and get later. Oh, God. Dodge. Ah. It's not another one. Is oh, hooray, it's not another one. Right. So now this should unlock this door. Yep. So I think first things first, we should probably go get the... Uh, Go see the dog, which was mentioned at the moment. Oh, but Barry's here. Jill, got any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. Can't say it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's got to be a back door somewhere. All right <laughs> then, let's split up again. Hey, hold on a sec. Look what I've found. What? A can of fizz. It's sure to yellow and mellow those things. Yellow and mellow, good god. Hopefully you won't have to use it. Right, so you got the acid shells, which means that our inventory is full again. Oh, don't worry. I like the buddy system we have here. I see. Thanks, I'll take it. See you later. Ciao. Right, so let's head the exact same way that it ha sounds like Barry's going. Um, to go and see that horrible, horrible dog. Or oh, two dogs, as the case is. Right, so I think there's a zombie on the, either this side or is it the other side? 
No, it's this side. Oh dear. Sounds. Oh no, there isn't two. It's just because my stereo head uh, the headphones were sort of being a bit odd. Right, it's a sword key. I think this may be the door. Either that or it's the other one, but I think we actually come out behind a zombie in this one. Oh no, we come out right next to the door. I uh, use the lockpick. Now, uh, there's a save room down here. And there's a zombie coming up the stairs, so maybe we should pay him a visit from Mr. Beretta. Down. Is he out? No, he's not out. Which means I'll probably run past him. Now I know this. I'm glad to burn the zombie here once I get some kerosene, which is in a room around the corner, I think. Oh, I keep pressing the options button to get into the menu. Um, Right, so, wait, what? Oh, keep doing it again. Uh, oh, I'm on fine, that's good. I'll just check in. Uh, so we'll put the acid rounds in here. I think shotgun, assault shotgun, grenade launcher, magnum. Oof, can't think of any more weapons, so I'll put it there. I'm a bit OCD about my item box. Um, lighter, fuel canteen. Alright, yeah, I think that's fine for now. Actually, I'm going to save, just to be safe. And I do have six inch holding, so that's not too bad. Right, so... It's an old typewriter. You can save the progress. Use the ink ribbon. Yes, so... Yeah, these are all sort of my saves at the moment. Um... Um... Let's overwrite this one, because I know that I can't exactly go back and get a different ending without really... No, actually no, I'll do seven. Right, so Jill, medical stories room. Okay. Uh, yeah, the screen's gone blank, but that's only because the PlayStation's doing its thing, so... Here we go. Right, transfer data to Rari.net. There we go. Right, let's continue. Oh god. Funny thing is it sounds like that zombie's really close when he's like all the way across the hall. It's like in my right ear, he was really, really loud. So, uh, kerosene, yep, refill the fuel canteen. Now, I don't know what's in this drawer, but, ah, uh, ink ribbons. And I forgot to put the ink ribbons back in the item box, oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Um, battery pack, right, that would have been completely useless if we want to go get the dog. So, we might as well go put those back. Unless once you use the, uh, dog whistle, no, because you don't lose it, you, um, have to go through the door to get rid of the dog, the dog whistle. And apparently every single time you leave a room, the zombie likes to go back to exactly where he was beforehand. <laughs> right, so... Put the ink ribbons away. And go back out here. Probably burn the zombie in front of the door before he becomes a bloody crimson head. And wrong button again. Uh, yeah, no, I use fuel canteen, that's it. Run. Oh shit, this zombie's coming out. Close one. Oh, I should probably just drop him and burn him. Save me all the hassle. Dead. Let's try and burn him. Oh crap. 
I keep hitting options. Sorry if you keep hitting options. It's kind of annoying. Oh no, he's not dead. Oh shit, run. Come on, Mr. Zombie. Come on. One, two, three. Oh, headshot. That means I don't have to burn him good. Right, that actually saves me a little bit of kerosene, even though it did waste a bullet. Well, I didn't really waste, I sort of used the bullet, but still didn't use the kerosene. Right, so, miss Mr. Zombie over there. Yes, Mr. Zombie, we all know you exist. Okay, so, about here, and I'm gonna get in this sort of ish corner a bit just to make sure that I have a bit of leg room and we're gonna blow the dog whistle. Yep. Here they come. Get ready. This dog is not dead yet. Shit, I just missed. Ah oh, crap, get off. Get the hell off, Mr. Doggy. Right, that's one dead. Ah oh, crap, I missed again. I know Wiggle and Stick really actually doesn't help you, but oh well. Right, okay. And Orange Caution, which means I'll use... Ah, I just realised the healing item's just there. I always do that, it's an impulse thing. Oh, the green herbs grow on here, there's only enough for a few uses, so just use them anyway. I do get a few things mixed up now and then. I'm, I've only played this game like a few times, three or four times, so... Do examine... Uh, um, yes, there's a switch. Oh, the coin was hidden with the collar, and I have to go here. It's the uh, sort of, well, the shape of the armor key. So, the imitation of the armor key, that's it. Probably don't need the dog whistle anymore, discard, yes. Um, right, so, ah, uh, there's zombie there, um, fast way the armor key is actually through that door, so. Now, nah, get off! Shit, I was trying to hit that, but, uh, right, he's not dead, is he? Just to see if he is. Uh, I just realised I can't pan the camera, let's check. Yo, no, he's dead. Good. Right. There we go. That's one less zombie to worry about. You unlocked it. Hooray, I unlocked something. Now, let's... Ah, I should have grabbed some kerosene. Because, um... Actually, I'm going to go back and grab some kerosene because I want to burn this guy before he becomes a crimson. Um, unless he becomes a crimson as I burn him, which does happen sometimes. So, yeah, I want to make sure that I burn him, otherwise I'm going to have a bit of hell. If he gets up, then I'm still going to have a bit of hell, but it won't be as bad. Well, it will be probably be worse. Let's, let's go back in here. Let's grab the kerosene. Yep, you reach a tent. Not a single drop of kerosene remains. So I can't get kerosene from here anymore. Okay, just check the stream's going well. The stream seems to be going fine. Right. Do, 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 do. It's really a testament to this game how much it hold, holds up today on PS4. It's it's lovely to see that people, and that it got bought so much that it became like number one on PSN. That is something I love to see when people, you know, when Capcom's like, oh, survival horror doesn't sell, and then Resident Evil Remake like sells loads. And shit, he's already crimson. Should have burned him earlier. Oh well, we got a crimson to worry about now. Hooray, that's good. Probably not, but. Oh, right, so. Let's take the mansion key. Or the armor key, I did.
Ah, bro, um, we don't want to turn into dual chowder, so... Right, there's another door just over there, where which leads into the library later, but, you know, we're not going to go through that yet. So, armor key. No, do not examine it twice. Right, so now we have two keys, so let's go and unlock some doors. So then we can, like, discard the keys, and then I might end the stream after maybe we've got the death masks or something like that. So, that, so it, like, we've made substantial progress, but we aren't you know, too far ahead. Right, so, so get past Mr. Crimson, oh shit. Uh, right, run, 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 go through the door, go through the door. Oh shit, that was a close one, right. Just wanna make sure Mr. Crimson doesn't rip my head off. Oh shit, this is the one's where they break through the door, isn't it? Oh, this freaked me out so much when I was, when I played this, when I was a little, well, I was a little younger. That really freaked me out that, you know, zombies could come through doors by themselves. I was just like, oi, that's just horrible. I completely forgot that was in the game. I wouldn't think the zombie would have the brawns and the brains to open up the door. Bash pack, yes. Right, so, I think there's one in this hallway. Maybe not, okay. Uh, should I go in the bedroom? I know there's a file in here, but I am there's a handgun clip. Ooh, I might pick up the handgun clip. I think there are shells in here as well. Uh, is it worth the ammo? Not yet. Right, and this is the uh, tiger eye room. If I'm not mistaken. Yep, the tiger eye room, so we don't need to go in here yet. Right, so over there's where you have to put the chemical for part 42. So we have to go find the chemical. And then we have to also find the score sheet and some other stuff, so... Oh no, zombie. That was easy. He's dead. See if he gets back up. Yeah, he's not dead. Okay. Screw it. Okay, we don't really need to come through here too often, I don't think so. Okay, so, um, something on the bar? No, wooden counter. I think there's something over there. I think it's in prisons. Oh, that might just be in a, on a easy, I don't know. Oh, uh, right. Right, so this bookshelf that so obviously isn't our pre-rendered background. <laughs> um, move it, and we get the musical score, which is only part of the score, and I'm, I'm not even going to bother examining it, because I know that. Um, we just need to go get the other half. Right, so, oh god. Is he dead? No. I know I shouldn't shoot off screen, but... Oh, that was overwhelming. <laughs> just like, oh, there goes his head. Yeah, it made me jump because he sort of get really, really close, and there's just sort of kapoosh and uh, hooray, it's fucking dead. I um, need that for later, but I'll leave it in here. I'm trying to think of doors that I can open with this key. Um, this one's upstairs, and then there's the one leading to forest. Okay, I think that's where we. I think we might head for forest next. Actually, no, because I want my shotgun to get to forest because I want to uh, easily take his head off. Uh, oh, wait, there's loads of zombies down here. Is it. How much anger am I have a lot? Do we go back and get the shotgun and get them one hit? Because I do like to use this shortcut a lot. 
Uh, there is a box down here, so I might do that. Go get the shotgun and just finish them off, unless I can lure one around this corner, which I think is already happening. Right, so Rich is through there, so. Come on, zombie. Right, now he's dead. Pretty sure he's dead. So, no, it's not necessary to use this now. Screw you, I will use this. There we go. Burn, zombie, burn. Should Jimakami use that sort of whole burning thing um, in the Evil Within? I still haven't finished the Evil Within yet, but I need to. Oh, get off me, get off. And I'll see if he's dead, if he's not, oh well, but... Uh, uh, burn, burn. No, he's not dead, okay, run. Right, so that's the armor key door, and I think there's some more up here. Oh, map. Or want to go get that map, even though I don't use it too much, but... And I just realised I'm going to be running into that other zombie. Um. Oh, I'm going to be behind him though, which gives me a bit of a tactical advantage. Oh. Oh, he's dead. Oh, that's good, I can burn him. Unless he's now going to become a crimson, isn't he? Oh, shit. Right, run, 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 run. Okay, this is bad, I probably should have burned him earlier. Oh, I've got so many crimson down there now. Uh, I need... Oh, shit. Oh, uh, run, 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 run. Go through this door, I'll have to go down there and get the shotgun. Because I cannot deal with crimsons right next to my bloody saber. <laughs> Unlock the bloody door, Jill. Oh, it's already unlocked. Well, that's useful. Right, now run. Unless he's like right in front of me. Yep, okay, run, 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 run. Aha, he can run downstairs, which is bad. Oh dear. Shit, go to the door. Oh. Fucking hell. <laughs> okay, Barry seems... I think Barry's left us some stuff. Yep, Barry's left us some stuff. That was nice of Barry. Right, so uh, we'll put the musical store in here just for now. Um, um, right, I'm going to reload and switch out the clip for the shotgun. Clip. Shotgun. Right, so we'll pick up this stuff. We have some uh, incendiary rounds. And I'll leave the first aid spray for now, but. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Put an extra acid shells. Right, so we'll go and get that um, other map piece. Actually, we'll fill up our kerosene while we're here. Yep. Right, and shotgun shells so let's go take out this bloody crimson hex so I don't need crimson head right next to my bloody save point oh come down the stairs there mr. crimson somehow oh you're not dead already you could have how how seriously I aimed up how the hell did you not get headshot Ed do I have to burn him I think I have to burn him Otherwise, he'll come back. Yeah, because if you don't destroy the head, they'll, they'll, he'll still come back. That burning animation was pretty good. That was a n unneeded load of shotgun shells. Right, okay. Let's take a look. Who's up here? Oh my god, how many zombies are in this bloody mansion? Ah. Three. Right, we'll dodge him. Unless he's dead. Doesn't look no he's not dead. Okay. Use the armor key. Okay. Run. We should come out behind him when we come out of this door, so that sort of give us a bit of an advantage. Because I think if you get up behind him and close you can blow the head off with a single shot, so that's a green herb, which I'll probably take with us. I think there's a red one right next to it as well, but uh let's grab that. And use that. 
wait to them, we'll burn the map onto this thing. There's a map of the second floor mansion, will you take it? Yes, I will. Right, so... Green herb, yep. No red herb. Okay, there's no red herb here this time. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mr. Zombie. Bad idea. Uh, right, we'll come out straight behind him in this one, so. Uh, how much space have I got? Ooh. Love this piece of music. Right, so. Red Earth, so. I'm gonna need way more than one spot to do this next bit, because. I'm going to have to place like different pieces of bees and stuff, so um, let's check what's in here and then we'll go back to the box, drop some stuff in and then go and see Barry in that room. Oh, first aid kit that looks things. Or box. Alright, yeah, you have to set the top, not the tip. Makes a bit of sense. First aid spray, okay. Is there anything else in here? Clip, hanging clip would be nice. Uh, left in a hurry, right. Ink ribbons, remember those. Oh, and a green herb, so I can't carry that. So, right, I think it will tell me if there are still items in this room on the map anyway. Yeah, because it's red. Right, so. If I can get those later on in the playthrough, I'm going to throw that stuck to me. <laughs> Let's come out behind Mr. Zombie and put a bullet in between his eyes. Okay, unless he decides, oh no, I want to put a nom. Dead? Hooray, okay, let's burn him. Oh no, he's not dead, are you kidding me? Oh my god, Mr. Zombie, how are you not dead? Are uh, there any other doors which I can unlock? Uh, oh yeah, the Lisa, uh, the Lisa Trevor puzzle. At least I think it's Lisa Trevor, I don't know. There, there, there's a person in a picture, it's the person in a picture puzzle. I don't know why, I just heard somewhere that was Lisa Trevor or something. Not. Alright, and then I'll come out and run around the corner again, so don't really want to do it, unless I just do the puzzle. Right, so what space have I got? No, I haven't got any space, so I can't do the puzzle yet. So I'll need to grab um, the uh, mask at the end. Do, 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 do. Oh, not another zombie that's going to come through the bloody door. Ugh. Um, right, so first aid spray we'll put up here. Uh, we'll keep the... No, we'll, um, we'll keep the green with us. Uh, right, we'll need a clip back. Um, do we take these? Um... I think I can get rid of the sword key pretty qu soon, so I know I've already got one item slot, but actually no, I won't bring a healing item, uh, which is a bit of a risk, but I'm going to have to take that risk. And I probably should have refilled my fuel canteen, but oh well, I'll have to do that later. Um, unless Mr. Zombie's going to come in, which would suck, but... The door number feels like it's ready to fall apart. Yeah, I'll go through because I need to go and do that puzzle, so. No, grab door. Alright, <laughs> so let's check. 
Lisa protected by the three spirits. I'm pretty sure it's probably Lisa Trevor because George Trevor did build the mansion. So a picture of a woman wearing a bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. There's a switch. Oh, oh no, I don't want to press the switch. No. Right, so I need green at the top, uh, the um crown, purple necklace, and orange bracelet. So um, let's have a think. Right. This one's the necklace. I think it's this side, or is it the other one? Purple, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's purple in the picture. Let's try each side anyway. So in the crown, yellow stained glass. Uh, I think the crown was green. Yep, so it's the other side for the third one. I should go orange. Yep, okay, right, we've done that. That's the puzzle. Shut up, crows. Do, do, yes. That's a death mask. So this is the mask without a mouth. So let's go and put this in. Thing as we come out, where you'll see. In the graveyard we were in earlier. So we dodge past Mr. Zombie. Shut up, Mr. Zombie. That's this one the one I think it's this one's the one with no mouth. No, I saw him in the eyes and the mouth, so I think this one's the one with no mouth. Yeah. That's one death mask down. Uh, I think this is a zombie coming along, isn't he? Yeah, uh, let's get down here because I know that he can't get me in here. No, no, no. Try and get me, Mr. Zombie. Yay, he can't climb stairs. Those zombies are so dumb, aren't they? I'm gonna wait for him to go down to that corner again. Run, 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 run! There we go. Right, so, um... What do we go do next? Let's go unlock forest door. And then we'll go and unlock one or two of the doors downstairs because we'll need to do that to get rid of the key. Uh, armor key. There's no further use for this key. Discard, yes please. And I forgot to bring the shotgun with me. Okay, I'm not going to do forest yet then. Because he will F me up if I do not bring that bloody shotgun. Um, no, I'm not going to go and unlock those doors over there. So... I think there's one more sword key door, maybe two. Then we should probably go and find the musical score, and I don't really feel like fighting Yawn yet, so I don't know if we'll get up to that part, but... As long as you keep going through this hole one way, the dogs won't come and get you, so just don't go through backwards. Right, I'm going to grab the chemical out here. I think there's some red herbs out here. And some good ones. Oh no, not a dog. No. Dogs, no. Right, so there's a chemical. And then if we grab a red and a green and maybe another green. Um just to Yeah, there's another kerosene thing out here. Well I might as well use that now. Right, so let's combine. 
So plenty of kerosene left. Yes, so I'll have to remember this room. Or outside piece. Right, so let's go to the save room. Goodbye, Mr. Doggy. Pretty sure zombie's gonna break through this window. Yep, run, 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 Jill. I think you get three zombies in this uh, in mountain climbing. So basically, <gasps> done a giant circle around. Right, so let's start moving again to the save room. Sorry if my voice sounds a little bit down, I'm just sort of, eh. Right, so, uh, herbs, and put those in there, and on, uh, we're going to get rid of this key here, so, okay, I'm going to put the chemical back just for now, what we'll do is, we'll go and do the bit with the bees, and then I think I might end the stream. Just because I've been going for a little while now, and you know, then um, that'll sort of give me some time to unload stuff to YouTube, see how it all does. And uh, thank you guys who are watching the stream, by the way. Oh my god, there's a zombie! Shit, <laughs> I've never seen that before. Uh, yeah, thanks to all you people who are watching the stream right now, it means a lot to see some people actually watching like my stream content because you know. Oh shit, he's not dead. God damn it, you had to die on the stairs, didn't you? Alright, we're on our last one bullet in the clip. Oh, there had to be one bullet, didn't it? Oh, oh shit, I just ran into that fire. There had to be one bullet, you know, just an odd number. <laughs> Kill the football piece forward frozen for two seconds. <laughs> Use the lock pick. So if you can hear a lot of outside noises. Hey, it's Barry. Barry, I didn't mean to get you that excited. Right. Anyway, you should read this. Researcher's will. A letter has slipped inside. The top part of the letter is torn off. The rest of the letter is le 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 legible. <laughs> Alma, I've tried to survive only to see you again, but my efforts have del only delayed the inevitable. I'm infected, and there is no cure for what, I for what will follow, except to end my life before I lose the only thing that separates me from them. My love for you. In an hour I'll en have entered my eternal sleep where there is peace. Please understand. Please know that I'm sorry. Martin Crackhorn. What do you make of it? Well, I guess we were right about this mansion being quite unnatural. They have a way with understatements. Where's the part that's torn off? Well, my only guess is that it was the most important part. Oh god, somebody's ringing the doorbell like a hundred times. So annoying. Let's continue our investigation. Sorry if you guys can hear that. Right, so let's uh, grab the fish hook. Various types of fish hooks. And we need the lure, which I think is that one. Yeah, there we go. Lure of a bee. No. We're not press the button, so we'll combine those two. This has fish. Oh crap! I keep doing that. Uh, put that there. Oh no, it doesn't go up there, does it? It goes to the lures bit. And now we want to collect the actual bee, which you wonder why the hell somebody put an actual bee over there, but you know, guess that sort of stuff happens. And here's where it gets really weird. You have a collection of specimens, and just wondering, why the hell is the bee still alive? Or at least it's alive once you take the wind thing. See? Who the hell keeps a live bee? 
Go away. Go away, Mr. B. Grab the thing and run, Jill. Run. Piss off, Mr. B. So that gets us the wind press which we use to get the magnum later. I see while we're here we'll grab those two items. And then we'll go and save and I'll end the stream. Bum, 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 bum. Love the music in this game. Bum, 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 I need to stop doing that. Oh, Oh crap. No, don't pick up the first aid spray jolt. Alright, might as well actually put that in the in box when we get to it. Alright, so this thing I'll put here. I'll get out the chemical. Um, and uh, actually, I'm going to put these two in here. And I'll put this below your first aid spray in here before it really starts to bug me. Right, so let's save. Save, Jill. It's an old typewriter. You can save the progress. Yes. Save the content on the PS4 because it's going to be doing stuff. Okay, right, so while my PS4 is doing this, I'd like to say thanks for joining me on the stream. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you very much for watching this on YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed it all. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time when um, I stream Resident Evil again. Um, I may give more prior warning next time. Um, and for if you ever miss it, it'll always be on my YouTube channel, um, Avtoman614, which I hopefully have linked in um, on my Twitch channel, hopefully. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you all later. Bye.